Hey everybody, welcome to our first test of the Tesla Cybertruck with full self-driving. But is it really full self-driving? Well, that's what we're gonna find out today because even though this truck has been on sale on the market for nearly a year, and even though it was sold with having full self-driving, it didn't actually have it until this update that went out, I think, last night to certain users. Yes. And we are fortunate to be one of the owners to receive this update. So we're going to see, is it safe? Is it dangerous? And how does it work? Overnight, it gained a lot of features and we want to test it. Well, in my opinion, it should have had those features when we paid $100,000 for it. Yes, a, we, it should have. A bunch of months yes. ago. But now what we have it, let's see how it works. Uh, it's not going to be scripted or edited. We've never used it on this truck, so this is going to be real-time learning how full self-driving works in a Cybertruck. Wow. Okay, right. let's do it. Let's check it out. So, as many know, the Tesla Cybertruck is capable of receiving over-the-air updates, and yeah. it can change some functionality features. It can add new features. And let's actually check out this... Um, release note here on full self-driving so you can see this is 2024.32.20 um v12.5.5 is super supervised full self-driving supervised in in parentheses which means you cannot go to sleep you have to monitor this system mm -hmm. you have to be attentive as a driver so there's actually three aspects of this update so first off is the vision-based attention monitoring the driver monitoring system relies on the cabin camera to determine driver alertness now we have covered upper camera why is that with this little piece of tape just because it's kind of creepy to roman and yeah, i don't blame we, him we we didn't want elon musk uh, looking at us <laughs> so we're gonna uncover that camera so now he can now he can but he's gonna need to i think for full self-driving <laughs> um and if the cabin camera detects inattentiveness a warning will appear the warning can be dismissed by the driver warnings will escalate depending on the nature and frequency with the continuous inattention leading to a strikeout ouch um and also, um, I was reading on the phone, release notes, um, sometimes it may ask you to actually move the steering wheel to says, make sure yeah, you're there. It will primarily rely on torque-based sensors in the steering wheel, right? Or yeah. steering yoke. Okay, full self-driving supervised under your supervision. Full, se full self-driving can drive your Tesla almost anywhere. It will make lane changes, select forks to follow your navigation route, navigate around other vehicles, and make left and right turns. You and anyone you're authorized must use additional caution. Do not become complacent. But this is huge because other manufacturers have like hands-free systems, right? Also for semi-autonomous driving, but none of them right now, G not, not, not at GM, not at Ford, not at Ram, and I'm not aware of many others uh, maybe Mercedes S-Class, but none of the other ones can actually follow navigation, right? It'll just yeah. kind of keep you on a highway, but it will not navigate. And then we've got another release note here, FSD supervised. Uh, V12 upgrades include city street driving stack to a single end-to-end -end neural network trained on millions of video clips. Wow. Uh, includes vision-based attention monitoring with sunglasses, end-to-end -end on highway, um, and then upcoming improvements, we got some stuff which is coming up soon. Note, this is an early access build. You and anyone you authorize must use additional caution and remain attentive. So, All right. Well, let's, let's try it. Let's see here. Let's go to the autopilot setting here. Let's go enable full self-driving visualization. Okay. Um, we got full self-driving. Do we want to enable full self-driving supervised? Yes, that's yes. good to go. Uh, it all looks pretty much the same. Cool. So now we need to navigate somewhere. Should we try that? Yeah, I think we should. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start on the correct side of the road, just so we don't confuse it right on the offset in this little private cul-de-sac. And then let's go ahead, let's navigate to McDonald's, an American icon in our American flag cyber truck. Okay. Cool. Press once. And by the way, McDonald's is near uh, um, Chargers yeah. as well. Press once to activate full self-driving. Turn Whoa. signal comes on. No way. Gavin, you may need to fa fasten that seatbelt. You want to hear? I'll take the camera. There you go. Okay. Here we wow. go. It actually required all the passengers, including the rear seat. Thank you, Gavin. Um, 
our videographer to actually buckle up. I'm not sure it required that because it started going once I pushed the gas. In but 500 feet, turn left onto Sterling Drive. Right now, the truck is driving completely by itself. You're not touching the pedals? Nope, not touching the yoke. Okay. And you can see, based on that little blue line, it's actually navigating and driving itself down no this cul-de-sac. Okay, so the audio, that's all the turn signal, that's all the truck. Now, full self-driving has been around for a while in other Tesla products, but not ones with not ones with drive-by-wire, or steer-by-wire, I should say, right? Okay, it came to a stop before the sidewalk, mm -hmm. and now it's going to creep. It's going. And it's turning. It's making a right turn. Wow, I was nervous there. It's pretty smooth, were actually. Were you nervous? Um, I was not as nervous as you were, Andre. Because <laughs> I don't have any control. You're behind the steering wheel still. So you can see what's going on here. So it's visualizing the lane markers pretty well. It's visualizing oncoming traffic. And we can kind of see what the truck is seeing. And so far doing well. I haven't touched any of the controls. I'm wondering at some point, though, if it's going to ask me to apply some torque to the yoke. It's been about a minute or so of driving. Trying to be very There's a truck attentive. turning in front of us, but yep. no matter, everything seems to be okay. Saw that the stoplight was green. Now this is a confusing area because we have a merge lane. And there's a truck in the middle of the, uh, just driving in between the yellow lines. And so far, actually, I'm surprised that it's not asking me to put my hands on the wheel whatsoever. It's doing everything. He but put on the glasses. Okay, here, it's supposed to work with sunglasses too. Okay. Andre's big on me trying it with the sunglasses. Okay. Yep, doesn't seem to care. So in theory, this camera is watching your body posture and probably, you know, maybe even your eyes in or maybe your head. Feet, turn left onto yeah, I'm turning, turning the volume down a little oh bit. Oh God, this is another light. Andre, you don't have to be so worried. I think Tesla wouldn't release it if it was that bad. Well, dude, it says it's an early build. This is like, like almost beta. So what's interesting is it has not asked for you to move the steering wheel. Right, and I kind of thought that it was going to be very much a hands-on system where it's doing the driving, but it requires that torque to be applied to the wheel. So light just turned green. You can see our three-quarter camera going here. This yeah. is kind of a tricky turn. And this is a double left. Double left. How's it doing? It's very smooth, dude. Oh, wow, it did that great. Wow. Uh, I am pretty impressed. So you can see it knows the speed limit as well, 45, accelerating up to 45. It's maintaining a set distance of the vehicle in front of me. Now, people on this road typically yeah. drive like 55 or 60. So yeah. you can see the traffic. Everybody's speed accelerating per fast, you know, faster than us. Now, I'm not going to ask the truck to do that, of no. course. But that is pretty crazy. So it's now been a couple minutes of recording, Andre. Not once has it prompted me to put my hands on the wheel, which is you know, I, obviously it's called full self-driving. People are probably like, duh. But, um, you know, I'm surprised that this is legal. But, but we've seen some, <laughs> we've seen some kind of, I want to say alarming videos in the past, 100%, right? Yeah. Um, Tesla Model 3s running the stop signs, um, running, you know, turning in the wrong way. So we've seen some nightmare scenarios. Um, but this is ultra, there's a car next to us. Is it going to change lanes? Yep, the truck's got to change lanes. It waited for that CRV to pass. Now, this is going to be interesting because we actually have a merge coming up here. Kind of curious to see how the vehicle's going to handle with that. Oh, that was a little aggressive for what I would do. I didn't, it didn't feel like didn't, that didn't for, for me. Didn't feel too bad for you? No. Okay, make sure there's no pedestrians. There are no pedestrians. Okay, now it's going to merge onto this three-lane road. Still very smooth. It doesn't it's bounce in the lanes. Crazy, dude. This is super smooth. No and, way. And once again, I haven't touched any control since we left the office a few minutes ago. Oh, uh, we got a red light. Let's see if it recognizes the red. It's yellow. It's red. Slowing down. By the way, this is a perfect day without a single cloud, and without a single raindrop. Right. Good point, Andre. Or snow. Good point. We may have to do this in the snow again. Mm -hmm. uh, when it snows this winter. But it is performing really well. And what's kind of cool about it, green like light. it's green. And it reacted to it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't accelerate too hard, which is good. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's really... There's construction coming up, dude. This is going to be crazy interesting. Really doing well, though. That is... I was not confident that it was going to... I, I think if this is this smooth and confident, it's just put the industry on notice. You know, even Mercedes with some of their systems. You know, that. My, did you drive that uh, S-Class? Yeah, so Mercedes does have a full level three hands-off, and that even is in an eyes-off system. Yeah. Where on pre-mapped highways, it will drive itself. But there's a lot of ifs and requirements around it, and right? And Mercedes will take responsibility for its actions, where something like this, if it goes haywire, it's up to you to to. Okay, there's a person it. with a dog crossing in front of us, and it sees a person but no dog. <laughs> okay, Andre. No, um, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> but the um, uh, the Mercedes system only works on pre-mapped highways under 45 miles an hour in perfect weather with no rain. There's all these situations. This is basically we just set it to drive somewhere in the city. Yeah, and it just it's going. It's going. Now, of course, a highway is a much simpler system to navigate than inner city driving because there's no stoplights or people with dogs <laughs> or cross or, traffic. Yes. I mean, there's any number of challenges. Okay, that guy ran the red light. Do you see that? That was late. Mm -hmm. And then, but the Cybertruck waited and then it just, by the way, there's a Fisker. Wow. It's like a bankrupt company just driving by itself. So we've got another merge here. Let's see if it turns on the, on the signal at the appropriate time. Come on. Right hand turn signal, Volvo. Oh, that Volvo was up encroaching on our lane. Yeah, it looks like it had the potential for being bad. Now, this is a difficult intersection. This is because we also have a crosswalk. So it's navigating the crosswalk, merging into traffic. But nicely, without problems. Unreal. Is By the way, what are you going to order at McDonald's? I, I don't have. An, I don't think it'll take us to the drive-through, Andre. So not once has it asked me to do anything. And you're wearing sunglasses too. Mm -hmm. By the way, you look handsome. Thank you, Andre. That's, that's Thank you nice. for letting me use your sunglasses. Yeah. So that is pretty awesome. And look, Tesla's had you know the FSD systems for a while now on their other products. But when you transition to a full steer by wire system, I imagine that does add some complications and some challenges and some opportunities right, yeah. that they didn't have with like the Model Y next to us. And also Tesla has been really big on visual um, self-driving techniques, right? Cameras. Mm -hmm. Because every other manufacturer in, you know, that I can think of, including GM and Ford, they're also using radar sensors, right? And they're blending the radar sensors with the visual the camera sensors in order to do some hands-free driving. But Tesla has been on this kick about only using cameras, right? right. Here, I'll give you your sunglasses. Oh, back. thank you. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty crazy because, like, in that Mercedes system, they use cameras, they use radar and long-distance radar technology. They use not one, but two GPS wait, positions. Wait, wait, there's a broken car, a broken Subaru in front of us. Oh, God. Wow, that was Did a it just change move. lanes? Yeah, I don't trust that. Oh, wow. Okay, so um, in that situation, it did change lanes. But it wasn't getting over far enough. So you helped it a so little. So I, I didn't want to rear end that Subaru with the collapsed front suspension. Whoa, this is a tight turn. Oh, oh it got totally confused there. It got confused. It, got, it did not navigate that turn. So it was doing really, really good up until the end there. But we, dude, that was unpredictable. That Subaru had a wheel falling off of it. Yeah, but that's kind of part of life, isn't it, Andre? <laughs> Are you saying super, wheels always fall off of a Subaru? No, I'm saying traffic is unpredictable. Yes. Um, and look, I think that under that, those normal instances, look, this is our first time ever using it, the uh, Cybertruck worked perfectly. It was just those last challenges, that really tight last turn, it, it kind of just stopped in the road, which was not good. Well, you know what? Like, even for a new driver, let's say you were 16, right? And sure. you just got your driver's license. That was a pretty stressful situation. There was a lot of traffic. There was a car disabled in your lane. Um, that was a stressful situation no matter what. Yeah. Um, but, Andre, we can't make excuses for it. It has to be able to do all that, right? But even, it didn't give you a warning. No. Did it? No. So You, you, you helped it a little. You got to be paying attention. That, that's 100% key. So we made it to McDonald's, and okay. I would say overall I'm incredibly impressed 
right off the bat. A little alarm that that's legal, where you can make that entire drive without touching any controls. And uh, it didn't feel super hesitant. And it, and it was smooth. Yeah, it worked pretty it well. It was very smooth, <laughs> and it wasn't bouncing in lanes, and it wasn't doing some of the other things that some other manufacturer vehicle systems do. Uh, I'm highly impressed. Menu and destination is on the left. should we try it on the <laughs> highway as well? I think we'll do that in the next video. Okay. So this is just our first intro video. I think if it works in a city situation, highway is going to be yeah. much easier. But that was pretty incredible. So folks, let us know what you think in the comment section. And also, should we do this off-road? Uh, maybe, Andre. <laughs> maybe that's a good idea. I guess that would have to be kind of a known trail, right? Maybe we'll use Onyx off-road and try it again. We'll see you guys next time.